Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Clickview Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Clickview learner and in this video I will resume my talk about the set analysis from where I left in the last video where I talked about the Clickview set analysis introduction. So precisely in this video I will going to talk about how you can enter the multiple condition into the set expressions so that you have uh, more customized results if your business really needs it and then we will see how you will going to use the wildcard characters into the set expressions so like percentage or star which you generally use in any programming language and finally we will going to talk about uh, the uh, the variables used within the set expressions. So let's get started and see how we can enter the multiple conditions into the set expressions. So if you remember this metric is a customized metric where we have used the set expression and let's quickly revisit what we did earlier and within the expression you can clearly see uh, we are getting those order values where uh, shipping fees is less than equals 200 but now your business and coming back and saying okay this is fine but I want it for a particular company say for example company uh, C if that is what they require then we need to enter a comma after our first condition so our first condition is entering here so the area that I have highlighted is basically condition one and after this we will put a comma okay and then the another condition so now we will enter customer name is equals to within the brackets and now the name of the company P A N Y company company uh, and C all right so this is fine let's click OK and see the results alright so now you can see the result is further customized to have those results where the shipping fees is less than equals 200 and the company is C right okay now you want to further modify the condition when your business is coming back and saying give me all those results where company is C is there as well as say company D and F then we will go back again to our metric all right and after company C we will enter the information for company D and F so I'll just quickly copy paste so this is company D and then within single quotation so company F alright so what we are doing now we are getting a shipping fee which is less than equals 200 and customer company C T and F and their order values click OK and OK and your value is changing accordingly so now you can see how easy it is to enter the multiple condition based on our business requirements okay so so now you can see uh, the desired behavior and if we select any employee ID you know accordingly the value will change based on the filters you are selecting but customer name will not have any impact on that so if I select anything from the customer see your metric will not have any impact because you have customized it for a particular type of customers okay but now your business is coming back and saying hey we don't want any changes into this metric based on the selection in employee ID uh, which is showing basically the names so currently if I select anything from the employee ID the name of the employee is basically getting uh, the changes reflected into the total order value but your business is coming back and saying hey we don't want any change in that based on the selection here so how you will going to achieve it into the click view set expression so let's go back to the properties within the expression 
and we will add another expression saying uh, comma and then employ id we'll just put equals to and no value simply a blank expression so this blank expression is basically saying that do not accept any value based on the filter we have or the list box we have for choosing the employee id or employee name okay apply so earlier you have seen that we were making any selection here and changes were reflecting here in this metric but now if you click here see there are no changes so what we are doing we are now further reducing the impact of filters from this metric on this metric so now this employee id will have no impact because we have put a condition that employee id equals to nothing that means do not accept any value based on that filter all right so this is how uh, a diff different ways uh, you know uh, you can use multiple conditions into the click view and get the desired re behavior from the set expressions so now let's move on to our next condition or next section where we want to use the wildcard characters so if i just click clear and look for the situation say for example we want to show those order ids where it is related to the series 3 and whatever after that so 38 30 36 35 34 so this is basically an explanation you know it may be some other condition in your cases but for the sake of representation what we are showing is anything between 30 to 39 into that series you know our metric should show that value so what we are doing now we will going back into again the properties all right and now for company cdf employee id we have put everything over here and the next is basically comma and then we are saying order id is equals to and within the curly brackets three and before that i need double quotation to search that because this is what based on the search three and then star anything 30 31 32 33 up till 39 to search value after that so three and anything after that click ok apply and ok so your value result is now further reduced to those orders which is falling under the range of 30 to 39 based on the values present over here so now you have seen how uh, we can quickly show the wildcard characters or achieve the behavior based on the wildcard characters. So this is what we have done. Three and the star within the double quotation. So, so these are you know different ways how you can achieve the customization. And with that, uh, we will now move on to the next topic which is using variables. Say for example, uh, this is currently you know showing the status as uh, closed and then their uh, total order value, and this status is something you want to give it uh, at the back end somewhere in the variable. So whenever the status is closed, you supply the variable to total order value that should show only closed value, and whenever uh, the requirement is changing, you want to supply new just to show the new value all right so this is just for the example what we are doing here uh, supplying the value from the variable to the expression so for that we will quickly create a variable i just pressed ctrl alt v to get this window where i will define a variable and we will say v status okay v status currently within single quotation closed okay because we want to show only those values which is closed and i will click okay 
so I will go back come here shipping fees is this company is this everything is here and now I will say now I will add another expression where I will say status is equals to within single brackets dollar sign and the brackets dollar in the brackets and within the variables I will have the variable value over here v status I will just simply click here paste status is equals to dollar within the dollar v status in my previous videos where I have told you about how to create expression what this dollar sign mean everything has been explained so if you don't know what I'm doing here I would uh, request you to uh, visit the variable video where all the explanation explanation is giving but very quickly this dollar is basically evaluating the value present over here so I will just simply click OK apply and OK and there is some uh, behavior which we were not expecting value nothing is shown so we will quickly see our variable so settings variable overview all right when I click oh okay so so something I uh, something happened here the value is not showing for V status I will again to closed maybe something what I did earlier is I have not selected this and without selecting I have entered the definition so this is a good thing that it happened here so whenever you create a variable you select it and then uh, give its definition otherwise you will see the behavior which you will not ex which you are not expecting so I will click OK and now you can see my value is perfectly coming so what will happen in this case whenever my the definition of this metric is changing from closed to something else I will just have to change that variable say for example I have 15 different metrics where you know I'm showing the values based on the statuses then I don't have to you know go in in 15 different metric and do that stuff I can simply go to one variable by pressing Control alt v change the definition from close to now say for example I want new click OK and if I have anything in new it will show here otherwise not right so if I go back quickly and change the definition back again to closed and click OK all right so this this is how you know uh, you will going to use the variable so if I go back again and show you very quickly how I used it so I have all those expressions uh, which I have written and then status is equals to dollar and within the brackets after that is v status the name of the variable if you are not aware and using lot many variables this is a window basically a tab variable tab here you will find your variable so it is showing you the variable value also that it is closed so this is how you will going to use the variables into the set expressions and uh, let me quickly go back to uh, variable overview window and show you since it is a text value we are giving it in a single quotation if it is numeric no need to give quotation which I have already explained and search a string double quotation and that's how you will going to use it so this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video where I have shown you a few more advanced feature uh, into about the set expression and I hope you have found this video useful and I will meet you in the next video with a new topic till then bye bye